going on guys? So I've been getting a lot of messages asking about what my current EDC setup looks like. So I figured why not just do this quick video for you guys and if you got any questions, you can ask down below in the comments. Uh, first up is going to be my wallet. Um, I run the Lunar Concepts Kirigami wallet. This thing is super lightweight, super minimal, has a bunch of pockets, um, and they're just really durable and well-priced. Lunar Concept makes them, you can pick them up through Wiseman Company. Um, but yeah, I've been rocking this for years, love it, really good. Uh, next up is the flash that I carry, a Stiletto Pro from Surefire, uh, 1000 lumens, and then the other thing I really like about this is that, if you notice, it's not round, so it sits nice in my back pocket, um, my back left pocket, that way when my other strong hand goes to grab it, uh, it's easy to access, and then it also, it's not bulgy, it doesn't feel uncomfortable when I'm sitting down. Additionally, it has the high setting here, but then it's got admin functions, so I can you know, just tap this and have a little bit of output. That way when I'm looking for my keys or something in really dark, like my car, I don't blind myself by hitting the thousand lumens. So really like that feature and it's USB rechargeable. So definitely something to check out. They have other versions that uh, aren't a thousand, like I think it's like 500 lumens for the other one, but definitely go with the Pro in my opinion, because it's aluminum housing. Uh, next up, I carry as my pocket knife. This is the Stiletto uh, Durac a double edge, um, trying to get this thing to focus here, there you go. But OTF, um, super small, super minimal. I like it, it goes in my back right pocket, but it's nice because I can take it out, open up an envelope, pull the blade back in, and then put it back in my pocket. It also doesn't look as aggressive as pulling out a fixed blade to open up a package. Uh, I happen to be carrying the Amtac uh, Northman right now from Bill Rapier. Uh, super awesome knife. Very minimal, easy to carry, comes with a really cool sheath. Something to note here, I actually run the sheath uh, between my belt and my pants. So it's kind of like inside the waistband, but still outside the waistband. Just a little more comfortable for me, and the bottom part of the blade stays outside so it doesn't like go into my pants and bulge them out. All secured nicely with a discreet carry concepts clip. So definitely worth checking out, really like this setup. Uh, next up, I run the next gen. Uh, their ratcheting belt, their EDC belt, uh, probably my favorite belt that I've been using. I've been using it for the last two years. Um, the ratcheting system is just really good for me. Uh, if I'm going to like a hockey game where I'm not bringing my firearm, I can just ratchet it down um, to make it tighter. That way, there's no issues uh, with having to like have different pants and stuff like that. So definitely worth checking out. Um, I'm running the OD green one right now, and I just run a standard buckle, nothing that looks too uh, tactical. Uh, next up. Our QBO Wingman Appendix Holster. Um, this is in the Bougie LB Red. Double tack wear clips, these are my favorite with the metal wing. Now what is inside here you ask? This is going to be my Staccato C2 Duo that has been chunk ported by Vinny and the guys over at Monsoon Tactical. 509T on top, TLR7A. And everybody asks about this magwell. It is a pistol gear magwell. It's our minimal magwell. Um, it's, I mean, super minimal. I just like that. And then the grip is by Extreme Shooters because I like the original 2011 grips. Um, you guys all know I've been a 1911, 2011 guy pretty much my entire LE career. And then I just stuck with the platform and I love it. it shoots point of aim, just natural for me. Um, but definitely something that is very manageable to carry. Um, I carry separate weapon light, separate handheld because I don't want to be pulling this out just to be looking for my keys, stuff like that. Um, you guys saw in the appendix rig, we have the spare mag carrier. 17 round spare mag with some of the new ammunition from, uh, get this to focus here for you guys. There you go. Ultimate ammunition, their blue line ammo. Um, this stuff, 90 grain. Ballistics are amazing. Um, definitely check out their stuff, guys. We just did a video on their 6.5 Creedmoor stuff. Definitely check that out. It was amazing. It was such a fun long range day. But the 9mm stuff, we'll have a video coming out on soon. Um, what's really cool for me, especially you guys out on patrol, like two of these mags weighs less. I'm sorry, three of these mags weighs less than two mags of my other uh, standard ammo. So it's super lightweight. And like, check out the ballistics if you're one of the guys that loves to read about all the different. Uh, velocities and FPS on stuff like the ballistics they have are amazing. They have state of the art equipment that they're doing all their stuff in here locally. Um, good company, good guys over there. So, but that is the rundown. Um, oh, lastly, boom, iPhone 13 Pro Max. Um, that's what I run every day. But other than that, guys, um, yeah, that's what I'm currently running 
as my EDC. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Um, I will do my best to get to all of them. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more stuff like this, let me know down below as well. See you guys later.